Help people, here's my new project. Picked it up for 500 bucks. 04 TRX 450R. I'm obviously full of shit. No way I got this thing for 500 bucks. Basically, it's uh, my friend's 450R. I went trail riding for my first time yesterday. I'm going to post some videos. Those videos should be posted before this one. I only got two or three because I was too busy caught up with riding, but... Basically, it's his 04 450R. He traded it for a CBR 600 and 500 bucks he got. And he got this and 500 bucks for a CBR 600. It's got a Athena um, 480 top end kit. It's got, um, the guy said hot cams. I'm going to check. Full pro circuit pipe, jetted. Some nerfs that are dented up. Nice back tires. Um, some other stuff. It's got some uh, bar risers. Nice bar clamp. I'm going to repaint the bars. Got ASV, uh, unbreakable levers, or whatever the hell you call them. Throttle's good. It's got some nice caps. More ASV. Got some hand guards. Uh, keys over here. No reverse, sadly. But yeah, I drove it yesterday a little bit, but I, I don't like it. Main reason why it's not running too good is because, let me grab a flashlight. It's because of this. Actually, I shouldn't even need a flashlight. Actually, yeah, I'll just shine the flashlight right here at the chain. You guys can just see the chain, how much it moves. Chain's stuck. All right. Try again. There you go. All rear ends just completely jiggling around. And the quad turns itself without even you trying to turn the quad. It just goes left to right by itself because the freaking rear end just toasted with the bearings. So... I told him to leave it here. He wanted to do it himself. I said, trust me, you don't want to get into axle bearings. Once they fry, they're a bitch to remove the axles. So he said, all right, I'll let you do it. So I'm doing axle bearings, wheel bearings, front and rear brakes, and chain sprockets because his chain kept popping off on him. Um, so, yeah, the rear brakes are just shot because the ax since the axle was moving around, it kind of screwed up his back brakes a little bit. Plus, his front brakes were already fried. I just had a flashlight in my hand. What the hell did I do with it? I hate when that happens. I walked over here. Sure, marked over here. Where the hell did I just put a flat? Oh, right over here. Alright. Yeah, his back brakes are pretty much toasted because the caliper is on the rear end. So if, if the um, axle is moving, then obviously the road is going to wear it out differently. So yeah, it's got an extended axle in it. That's nice. I think I should probably tell him that. It's got it from uh, Long Island, it seems. No tail light. The exhaust sounds nice. I would start it up when I'm in my garage. Took my Banshee trail riding too. It's pretty. I hosed it down, but it's still pretty dirty. I got stuck in some mud. Uh, there's the front tires. There's the back tires. Uh, I got mud all the way up to halfway up my stator cover. I got jammed on a rock and screwed up my skid plate a little bit. My chain kept popping off a little bit because they were pretty rugged trails. They were pretty nice though, so I'm going to take a link out of my chain. Tires all dirty. My rims, you couldn't even see that they were painted. You couldn't even see the yellow ring. They were just covered in mud. I literally had about 5 to 10 pounds of mud on my quad because I went through a stupid mud pit and I got stuck. So I just kept trying to shake myself out. So I just hosed it down. It took me like a half hour just to get most of the mud off. So I'm going to power wash it tomorrow because I got home late from school. So basically my plans today are just to take off all the plastics and start cleaning it up. Maybe the axle if it's still early. So there's a 450R. Talk to you guys later.